I'm Les Walsh. I'm the MD at the Argyle Game Butchery. It's fairly old fashioned. It's very traditional. Great butchers working there. Most of them have been with me for at least 15 years. Some of them were apprentices and learned their skills there. Wild Scottish Highland venison. We don't work with any farm venison. It's a different product, it's a different flavour. The flavour of the venison that we have comes from everything that the nature's organic garden, if you like. You know, heathers, mosses, lichens, and that's what gives the flavour to the meat. Deer, roaming wild, are affected by the seasons and what's available, what's lush and what's not. We don't want to see too many deer on the ground and not enough food and seeing them starving to death in the middle of the winter. A lot of my friends, they call it happy meat. It's not something that's bred, transported to a slaughterhouse. People see it out in the hills, it's had a happy life. We leave it to hang at least 21 days. The reason we hang them is once a carcass is dispatched, if you like, it stiffens up. You've got to let it relax. Then all the fibres in the various muscles, they then start to break down just a little. And that's the tenderising process. And that's where our guys are expert. Once it's hung, we have them skinned. Our butchers then start to butcher the carcass, as I said earlier. The butchers that we have have been with me for a long time. It's a way of life. Um, they're all well trained. They know the operation. They know what to look for. And people like it and compliment chefs on being able to deliver it to them on a plate in a, a lovely fashion.